All right, how's it going, everybody? So, um, I figured I'd make this update while it's developing. So, this guy is a scammer. And, uh, he did a pretty good job. He was pretty convincing. I, w I was suspicious, but he, he had me genuinely thinking it was legit. But there's a couple warning signs I saw, and that's what I'm going to go over here. So, um, let's hope he didn't delete all the messages. It started with this. Well, first off, on one of my posts, um, I think it's deleted now, but on this post, um, <clears throat> I don't know. I, I guess it got deleted um, when I blocked him. And then I realized, oh, I should maybe unblock him so I can document this for everybody. He had a post like, hey, I sent you a DM about uh, a, co a music commission. And usually, um, like... I'll get stuff like that on here, like, you know, promote it on, you know, this, that's kind of obviously like spam or scam or something. That's a bot. But this was, this, it seemed like a person here. And so I looked again over at his, his account and, uh, it, you know, it said, you know, father figure, you know, and he's got this nice suit and everything. And I was like, okay, I'll bite. And so, um, the initial... E uh, message was hey um, do you write original songs and I was like okay I told him a little bit about what I did um, he's like I'd like you to write a song for my son it's his birthday song right it's his birthday get you in the feels uh, a simple one to two minute song which I have his name mentioned willing to pay $500 and I was like $500 okay seems like you know he could be a rich business guy who's just trying to do something nice for his son for his birthday. So I, he had me. He had me, man. This guy, he, he was good. I'll give him props. Um, he did like a little, you know, backstory like his name's George. He's turning 15 on January 30th. His favorite color is blue, yada, yada. And, and then a German shepherd named Brock. I was a little like, that's kind of odd. But again, I was enthralled in the story. So I didn't I didn't notice it. Um, and he did a pretty standard business thing, which is I'll pay you 300 now and then 200 later. That's kind of standard commission work process. So I was like, okay, this guy's probably legit. Um, I also don't really hang out on Instagram a lot. I don't have, keep it on my phone and I try to check it online as little as possible. I really only check it when I'm posting stuff. Um, so I, I didn't respond to him for a while and so he, he, you know, was pressing. And so I was like, okay, I'll, sure, I'll do it. Is it cool if I just sing and play a guitar? And so this was the one where I was like, hmm, I'm a little suspicious. I'll need your full name and email address. And I'm like, well, your, my full name is literally, it's in my, it's right here in my description. That's my name. Um, so he didn't really need to ask that. I was like, okay. And then email address to write you a mobile check for payment. I was like, well, because again, I'm thinking this guy's legit. So I was like, well, I could send him my email. There's nothing really bad about sending someone your email address because, you know, the worst they could do is hack it, <laughs> I guess. Um, but your email address, um, I guess it could be used for other stuff. So I was like, well, I don't know. I'm going to see if he'll do PayPal because that's how I do most of my commission stuff is PayPal. And so he says, oh, I'm paying for my business checking account, which doesn't support third-party apps. It's a check. I'll need your email address so I can send it over. You can just scan it via the deposit option in your bank app. I was like, hmm, I've never run into that before, but okay. So again, I was suspicious, but I was still believing it. So, and then I sent him a email address, which I kind of use for like stuff like this. It's an account, I, or it's an email I have, but it's like, I, it's not really what I use for anything. So I was like, okay, I'll send him this. And then um, I was like, hey, is there any other info about George that I should know in order to make this song a little more personal? Cause I was totally buying it. Cause, but I just have this instinctive, I don't really trust strangers on the internet. I believe the story, but I didn't trust my, my instinct saved me here. And so he goes like, oh yeah, he loves soccer, skiing, and taking long walks with his dog. 
he loves swimming and action movies. And I'm like, okay, you know, let's let's think about what we can do for lyrics. What's his favorite action movie? We'll we'll turn that into a song, right? And I was like, Top Gun Maverick. Okay, cool. And then this is where I was like, oh right, when it, once because I came back or I left to get some dinner at this point, and so then I came back and there's three messages, and I was like, okay. I didn't even really read these all the way through. And he started saying money, and I just kind of briefly glanced through these, and I was like, oh, so it is a scam. So he goes, there's a little problem now. My assistant requested $3,000 instead of $300 to our manager, and now he processed a check for that amount. It says we won't be able to request another check from the account for another month. I'm trying to see what I can do. I'll get back to you as soon as I figure it out. I spoke to my manager. Apparently, it turns out there's nothing we can do about it. We've discussed about it and have come to a resolve. I could send you a check for $3,000, you deposit it with your app, and then we can just find a way to send the rest back to my manager so she can put the money back in the account. I know you won't screw me over because people's art says a lot about them, haha. So, classic scam. Oh, I sent too much money. Can you send it back to me? Don't trust it. I've watched enough atomic shrimp in my time to know that no. And the only reason I kind of went along with this, because I figured this is if he's, and back up here he said he was going to use his business account. His, and I was like, that's odd. But maybe he's a business owner and he's using his business checking account and he's like going to write this off on his taxes. That's the only logic I could think of as that's why he would use a business account for a personal purchase like this. But then he's talking about his managers and is it like, his, he's like not even, he's not the owner. So I'm like, why are you using your business account for this if you're not the owner of a company? That's the only time. And even then, it's kind of like a little fishy. Like, is this really a business purchase? But coming from someone who knows how small businesses work, a lot can be said that this is a personal purchase. So that's what I thought he was doing. But then, yeah, so I was like, no, this is, this is a scam. That's why I gave you a fake email account. You had me look for a little bit there, but once you started asking for a personal info, I was like, nah, reported and blocked. So beware, there's people out there like this. And, and usually, you know, all the atomic shrimp videos, it's like people who can't type very well or can't, you know, do very, or their English isn't very good. This guy had good English. Um, the other suspicious thing I will say is way back up in here, I think like maybe around this message, I tried, I requested to follow him. And this was on Saturday and today, let's see. Yeah, today is Wednesday. He never followed me back, which was a little suspicious. Yet he had um, liked my video and commented on the video to hook me in. And so I was a little, or he never accepted my request. I think that's how Instagram works. He might have followed me. I, don't, I didn't really check. But yeah, so those things... The fact that he never followed me back, the fact that he was going to use this for his his business account for this purchase, um, and the fact that he didn't want to do PayPal, and then the actual scam, that's what kind of tipped me off. So beware of people out there. If there's any other musicians who are watching this, there's people like this out there. You know, I have how many followers? I have 200 followers on Instagram. I have uh, 67 subscribers on YouTube. I'm nobody. And there's people out there trying to take advantage of small time musicians like me out there. So be careful. Um, stay safe from scams. I'll link some Atomic Shrimp videos in the description of this video. But yeah, dude, watch out. Ashley Jones 09. Screw you.